South Park is one of the longest running animated TV shows of all time. Over the years, it's mostly kind of stayed the same for a lot of the characters. They don't usually show the deeper sides of any of the characters in South Park, which you know is kind of understandable because it's a lot more about promoting the message through comedy. But there's just one exception to this, and that's what this video is about. Stan Marsh, oddly enough, is the most complex character in all of South Park, and there's a couple reasons for that in a couple different episodes that I can reference to. So let's just get into it. Starting off with the first instance of Stan being like this more mature character than a lot of the other ones and actually showing like deeper feelings than just like calling other people words that I can't say on YouTube, is in the episode Kenny Dies, the end of season five. This is arguably one of the most emotional episodes of the sh entire show. This episode does technically like show every single deep side of each of the characters, but I'm mainly talking about Stan because this isn't like the only instance he is. But for in this episode, Stan, even though that his friend is dying, he can't get himself to actually go see him because he doesn't want him to see his friend in the state that he's in. It's actually like really sad because a lot of people suffer from this in real life. To see the once filled with life person that used to know all of a sudden just kind of there sitting in a bed just not being able to do anything is heartbreaking. And this is exactly what Stan felt. Matt and Trey really took some of these elements out of what happens when you lose a loved one and puts it in all into this episode where even Kyle and uh, Cartman have a deeper side to them that actually shows a part of loss and the process of it and what kind of it leads to. So in the end of the actual episode, when Stan finally goes to see Kenny, he's too late because he was just too scared to see him. But as soon as he got the nerve, he was already gone. The next instance that you really get to see his deeper side to him is in the episode You're Getting Older in Season 15. This episode shows a lot more progression of the character than something like Kenny Dies did. Where because, I mean, the episode's called You're Getting Older because as Stan gets older, he's kind of starting to see the world differently. And this is actually the first time that we actually see one of the boys do this. This episode is actually really sad because it actually kind of shows the progression that a lot of people his age go through, leading to probably one of the most shocking moments in all of South Park history where in the end, Stan's dad and mom get divorced. And Stan is unable to actually process this because he doesn't want this change and he's just kind of left there stuck. And I mean, I would talk about the next episode that comes after this, but it kind of like undoes a lot of everything that happens in this episode. So it would kind of be a waste. But I brought this one up because, I mean, it still kind of shows Stan's more of like mature side and this different style to South Park as a whole. The reason why I say mature is because as he grows up, he's going through more and more hard times. And this is allowing him to be stronger in later episodes. In the next episode, he is able to accept that his parents just don't love each other anymore and is okay with that. But, you know, um, they kind of just kind of undo that entire divorce thing and kind of just, like, end that. But, you know, it's the thought that counts, I guess. Now, I want to quickly talk about another episode that I'm not going to go too in-depth with, but I just want to talk about it because it does show a different side to Stan. And, I mean, the episode doesn't really fully kind of rely on Stan. It more kind of goes to Butters. But the episode, Raisins, from season six, shows the different responses to grief from losing something. And I mean, it's not like Kenny dies, but it's like losing his girlfriend, because Wendy kind of cheats on Stan, which is actually really sad. And he goes through a process not knowing what to do and just being sad, and he doesn't know how to combat those feelings. So he just doesn't, and he joins the goth kids just hating life because he can't find a reason to live. But then Butters tells him just... Things happen, and you just have to move on from that, and then he's better. And I mean, it's still a really, like, different side than we see with Stan, because he turns all goth and stuff like that, and just starts to hate life completely. It's a really sad episode, but it's more funny than sad. It's, like, one of my personal favorite episodes of the entire series. But I thought I'd give it a quick mention. The next and final instance that I want to talk about is actually from the Pandemic special from a couple years ago. In the end, we find out that the reason why Stan was trying to get Butters out of the school is because of his personal needs. Being locked away for this long, unable to see any of his friends, has really taken a toll on him. And you actually, like, he's practically going insane because of this. He needs his connection with his friends, and because of the pandemic, he's unable to 
fulfill his needs and he's just locked away and unable to do anything about it when everyone around him seems to be slightly more okay that with the pandemic than he is. It is nice to know that Cartman doesn't kill the pangolin because of Stan. It's pretty heartwarming and it actually shows another side to Cartman, but that's a different video. Concluding that Stan Marsh is probably the most emotional character in the entire show. He's something different that Matt and Trey wanted to do with him because they feel like they could because he has so much going on in his life that actually makes sense with his character and everything that he has to suddenly just kind of like be thrown in these different situations and actually see real emotions come out of him. It's actually insane how accurate Matt and Trey got with this. Their experiment with Stan definitely succeeded. I mean, for me personally, out of the four main boys, he is definitely my favorite one. He's just, he gives this new layer to South Park that wasn't initially there, and it's amazing. Thank you all for watching. I'm Enchanted.